Well, if this isn't a pathetic and lazy meal, I don't know what is. I've reached that adult point in my life. <laughs> Our food is meant to keep me alive. Some days of the week is to keep me alive, some days of the week is to enjoy. Today's a keep me alive day. to head to work it is Friday morning and I've been up since about 7 30 I have a task rabbit come today and put up my island and it looks so good I am just in awe of him I think he's so good at what he does he did it in an hour and like 40 minutes so that is how it looks insanity I need to flip it around extremely 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 impressed and very happy with it it's the first time I've ever used TaskRabbit, and I would highly recommend the guy that I use. I just think, one, he's so accommodating. I told him I have work today, and I'm technically not supposed to be working from home today because I swapped a day. So um, he could come an hour early. So he was here at 8 o'clock on the dot, as he promised, and he left maybe about 15 minutes ago, and it's not even 10 yet. And he finished this in, by himself in like an hour and a half. So very sturdy piece of furniture i definitely will probably have to call him back to break it down again because i i don't know what my next but you know like i just can only think about my place now and what serves me now i'm gonna get bar stools but i can only get the bar stools that can go completely under i wouldn't get any with a chair because i need to have space here to walk it's like really close to my exit if that makes any sense so if it goes completely under and i do plants and stuff it'll look really nice i think um, i'm just happy i can show you guys how it looks from outside i'm just happy that i have somewhere to eat that's not my bed now like once i get my stools hopefully they're delivered next week i know my couch is coming next week so slowly but surely i'm getting my life together with the apartment this is the back part which is where i'm gonna have my stools and then as you can see this is like different then obviously the wood there. So I don't know if I'm going to wrap that in all black just to kind of like wrap the wood planks in black with the peel and stick or if I'm going to do something different with this because I would never cut on this directly like meat or anything. So maybe even wrap this with what I'm going to do with my backsplash so that the backsplash when I do it in this match. So peel and stick this, which would probably be easier than that and keep that dark, dark wood on that. Because I actually do like the way that this wood looks better than, well, I like both the woods, but they don't match. So it's throwing me off. This side is just more storage. So I can store pots, pans. I can do all of my books in here because I have so many. And yeah, everything seems to work fine in terms of I can still get into my fridge very easy. It opens up all the way. Obviously, it's not affecting anything. I measured to make sure that this would fit in the space, and I think it's perfect for a small kitchen. I can get into my oven. It can go all the way down. So I'm, you know, I can step in here while I have this. I have to clean my stove. It has salt and stuff on it, but, like, cook, 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 and then turn around and, like, place things if I need to. I'm going to eat on this. And then once I do everything and make everything black, and this will be like the standout, I think it's gonna look so good. It might look like it's a little bit cluttered because things are not organized, but when everything is organized, it's gonna look really, really nice. And it just needs some green in here. It just needs to look less cluttered, but I, I, I really love it. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready for work. And uh, yeah, kitchen complete. In terms of getting things is now officially over. I have bought everything that I need to buy for the kitchen and now we just need to decorate and make things look pretty. I went yesterday when I was after work, I went to Willow again and got some food with myself. And then this time I decided to try something different. So I got the ribs, the barbecue ribs, the vegan ones. And then some garlic broccolini, which was actually so delicious. It makes me want to make my own broccolini myself at home. So I'm going to actually make my own broccolini. I'm going to have this for dinner. It's currently 7.30. It's so different when you have like more counter space. Like even just talking to you guys is like different. I don't know. Eating it yesterday. Oh, I have a little bit of broccoli.
broccolini because I ate all of that too. I ate a lot of this. I have a video that I really want to do. I figured out how I would do it though. It's all about um, creating your own space. I don't know if that really makes sense. But basically the idea behind it is that if you cannot afford to find a certain vibe that you're looking for a certain space how can you work with what you have because i feel like that's what i'm essentially doing it's going to be a sit down video with clips of everything when i fully transform the apartment to the point where i'm like i'm done with it like it's everything that i could imagine and more <laughs> we are nowhere near that but that's just the kind of the the concept and the idea because um yeah even like this made such a difference i know people pay so much money to have kitchens with an island right and this is not any you know a lab like beautiful stunning marble island but i'm gonna make it insane and i think i think people need to like understand that everything that you do in life it has to have some type of like purpose right so a lot of these places i don't think they like get it is they, they make little things, they'll add an island, they'll add a washer and dryer and unit, and then they wanna charge you like a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars more. And I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta put in a little bit of work in a place. You have to see something that's broken and battered and bruised and choose in your heart to maybe fix it. And I know for some people that's not, like I get it, if you have the money, whatever. But I'm talking about people that sincerely want something and they're starting from scratch and they do not have the funds. I think, I think this video that I'm thinking about is gonna be really, really helpful. I had to downsize a lot in terms of appliances, in terms of uh, things that I really wanted. For me, I cared more about the location, which is why I chose the place I'm living in now. It was all for me about location, location, location. And I wanted things that were livable, right? So everything I have, there are some things that's run down, but for the most part, I can either customize it or add things like this to make spaces look bigger or be more functional or look a little bit better, add plants, add whatever, and then still live 10 minutes from the city, 15 minutes from my job, 15 minutes from downtown where everything's happening and the bars are at and all that stuff. And, and, and that was more important to me. So I think in this like, transitionary period of a lot of people's lives because a lot of you have joined the channel recently and I'm wondering if it's because you can connect to the transitioning in this transitionary period of your life maybe just make a list of two no, not like non-negotiable things that are big so whether that's like having an island or having a really nice bathroom because you love black baths and you love your self-care time and, and that makes you really happy or having a really good location some people do not care about location and they have beautiful stunning apartments and the location is shit in my case it's the other way around where maybe the apartment needs a little bit more work it's beautiful but it's maybe not like the elite apartment you thought you were getting but the location is like pristine there's a tendency to look at instagram and only think about things from the marble and beauty and stainless steel surface and yes that is the life a lot of us want but you're not probably going to get it so probably not going to get it right away this year 2022 if you're just starting and you don't have the income for it yet and you don't you know what else can you do and i think i i think when i'm done if i feel like i did a good job with this place i made it look really appealing and the shit tell me if you want that video it's something i feel like i want to do because there's not a lot of people doing videos on just real life shit everybody's living in luxury apartments and condos and and floor to ceiling windows and shit and i'm like what about the rest of us that's kind of not living life like that what the fuck do we do good morning and happy sunday i'm really tired i was up yesterday till about 4 a.m trying to upload my weekly video for you guys guys it took me maybe like 15 16 17 attempts to get that video up i love you guys so much when i close off my videos and i say my little slogan of i love you to the moon and back i really mean it because i was about to be like fuck this <laughs> like this isn't working but yeah 
that was hell. I hated every second of that, but I figured it out. But it's Sunday, I actually have no idea what I'm cooking today. There's a couple things that I could do and that I probably will do just based off of laziness. But um, I really didn't want to consume any dairy today, but I just can't go grocery shopping today. I don't have it in me, I have to do it tomorrow. I'm gonna put on the kettle really quick and make myself some tea. Oh, okay. And then, you know what, it's Sunday. Like, I bought some um, cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna make myself some cinnamon rolls for breakfast. The Annie's vegan ones, which are like my favorite. I have a baking rack. I have parchment paper. So we should be good. I was thinking tonight, for dinner, I would just have some chicken and rice. But then I had that the other day, so. I have some Trader Joe's chicken in the fridge. It's not like the healthiest chicken because it's breaded, but you know, like when I don't want to go grocery shopping, it's nice to have those things on hand. I also have some gnocchi and some cheese sauce. I was thinking maybe we could make some gnocchi as well for dinner today. Um, the only thing I don't really have is veggies, which is not good. So yeah, these are the Annie's organic cinnamon rolls. These ones are so good. Um, they're vegan. Annie's does pretty much everything vegan, I believe. I don't want to speak for Annie girl, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna preheat my oven. What do I preheat this to? I'm so hungry. I should have been making these while I was uploading that video. I literally just finished the thumbnail in the video. It's actually insane. Oh, perfect. It's on 350 ready. My battery's dying too. I I can't I can't catch a damn break. Okay, we got that sorted out. This is my first time using this oven, and it smells like a little bit like funny, burny. And I'm wondering if that's because it hasn't been turned on in a couple months. Anywho, I got these from Target. They're non-stick and like this gold, really pretty. They come in a set of three different sizes. So like a smaller one than this and then an even smaller one. It was like 14 bucks. Such a good bang for your buck if you're just starting out and you don't want to buy something like super expensive. I thought that one was really good. It's just a bathing sheet at the end of the day. I'm really excited for this. I have some tea going. This is like one of my favorite meals to have like on a cheat day. I like this and French toast is so me. Like especially on a Sunday. I don't know what it is. I'm getting off of sweets because I've been drinking that dandelion root tea and that thing suppresses any sugar cravings you have so if you're trying to cut out sugar drink that because i drank it like maybe three or four times and it was already such a difference in like how i felt about sugar and then when i had something the other day it was so sweet to me because i felt that my body was just over it this oh i need a spoon Love Island has just been confirmed. The UK version. Love Island. Woo, got it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do some parchment paper. Oh, these opened weird. Oh, I hate when they open like that because then eh, it's like hard get it open because now they're open you see what I mean usually I would have my family here to help me eat these but that is not the case this time around so I'm gonna do one. Oh, the dogs are going for their morning walk two smells so good like the fresh cinnamon for some reason this does not spike people that are glycemic and the ones from Pillsbury definitely will time okay I don't know why that is all right so I just did five have them properly like spaced out I need to give them room to expand basically the icing here but you can warm it up, but I actually like it cold. Let me just, I should have read that paper before I ripped it off. How long do you cook these? These are, uh, frick. Damn it, okay. I know it's not that long though. Yes, it says 18 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do 18 because I'm 
20 is more if you like it crunchy. Like, I don't want it that crunchy. Okay. Oh, this is at an incline, I think. Okay, yeah. It's at an incline, the oven, the rack. To remember that when I'm cooking stuff all right so we'll check on those in 18 minutes or so I'm going to have my tea because I am having something sweet this morning I'm gonna do the one I was just talking to you guys about and have some dandelion root tea or well, the roasted I don't know if that makes a difference from traditional medicinals this thing is bitter but it's so good. Like it's so good for you. Like I feel so good after I drink it. And I have about four or five cups of tea a day. Like I'll drink two cups of this with my breakfast. I have this cup, which is like my pre-cup and then I'll pour it in again and have a second cup. And then in the afternoon I do the same thing when I have like a wine down of like fruit or dessert or something for dinner, which is good. You get your water. It's definitely been helping my skin out. Okay, breakfast is done. Was on the phone with my mom, my sister, my best friend. It was just like back to back to back to back to back. So I didn't film any of that. But um, now I thought that we would go through my book box and take out my cookbooks and add them to my uh, island. So that they are a little bit organized and I can like get rid of another box, which would be awesome. I wanna know if it's just me, but can you guys tell me, for those of you that have moved out, it's been a lot, how long did it take you to like furnish your place, get rid of your boxes and all that? I don't know if I feel like it's taking a lot longer for me because I just didn't have anything, but it is a long ass, I, I have also no patience. I've been here for a month and I'm just already over it not being homey, like just not have anything. It's just a weird transitionary, weird period of time. I'm like completely receptive of that, but holy hell, I'm over it. I'm over it. Tonight, we're gonna just, I, I'm, fuck it, I'm over it. <laughs> I hate cooking so much. Um, I'm gonna have some chicken, some Trader Joe's breaded chicken. That's like already made. And then I'm gonna make some pasta really quick. Either the penne I have, or do some, the other one, we talked about already. This isn't a pathetic and lazy meal. I don't know what is. Tenderloin breast, like a chicken breast, and some gnocchi. Let's try it. I don't hate it, it's just interesting. The chicken's fire, it's always fire. I just put it in the air fryer for about mm, 15 minutes. I've reached that adult point in my life. <laughs> Where food is meant to keep me alive. Some days of the week is to keep me alive, some days of the week is to enjoy. Today's the keep me alive day, so we're living. <laughs> headed out to um somewhere <laughs> I 
need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I've been home since Friday, it's now Sunday. And I've actually been home since Thursday, and it's now Sunday. I went to work on Thursday, but you know, since that night till now, I haven't left the house. And I haven't really done anything this weekend. I feel like I say that every vlog because I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I have apartment, single living depression, and it's hitting me. I'm going to go to Marshall's, Home Goods. I need to get some hangers to finally like like clean out my living room. I have got, or I bought two of these bins from Target that roll. So as you can see on the ends there is wheels. Um, and I can roll these under my bed. So I bought these uh, the other day when I was just went grocery shopping. And for now I just bought two, but there are four of them can fit under my bed with room, which is awesome. Let's just like, get the clothes situation in my living room sorted out because I think that's also aiding in why I feel so unmotivated is the living room looks crazy. This week apparently should be the week that I'm also getting my couch. So I really need the living room cleaned out so that when they do the couch delivery, everything's good. Um, so yeah, we're off to home goods. I just wanted to intro that really quick. It's actually nice weather outside. I think the sun will be good for me. So let's go do that. Okay, I'm in Burlington. I... I'm in the throws section looking at some throws for my bedroom possibly. I found like a cute white one that I would drape over my bed but I don't know yet. It's this one. Like how cute is that? But it says it's for a king so. I picked up two things for my puppy. I got a snack and chew antler for puppies and then a retractable dog leash. So I'm gonna actually go to the pet store in a second because there's one in this area. But until then, someone's calling me. It's my mom, hold on. Okay. I'm home. Didn't get to film much. What's new? What's new? Nothing. It's just really like, because I don't really film outside much since I've been moved in and doing like moving content. Um, I forgot how embarrassing it is to actually film. I end up going to Olive Garden. When was the last time that you guys went to Olive Garden? I mean, honestly. <laughs> I saw one there and I was like, I got the signature salad and the breadsticks. I'm honestly about to sit on my floor. My couch gets uh, shipped tomorrow. So we're making some type of headway with this couch thing. Oh, sorry, fruits view. I probably shouldn't be doing it with my camera, but I got a couple stuff I've always wanted to try. So I got the salad. Comes with croutons, but I don't like croutons. Um, I got a. I'll open that last. This is the crispy ravioli, beef ravioli, ravioli with marinara. A couple of pieces in there. The signature breadsticks. I was gonna buy separate breadsticks, but I decided I'm only gonna get two because, well, two comes with a salad and she asked if I wanted more and I'm like, what is the price of the other ones? And then she was like, it's $4 for six. And I was like, ugh, because I will literally eat all six by myself. I mean, who else is gonna be here to eat it? And then for dessert, I got myself a strawberry cream cake. And this is like the strawberry drizzle, like, reduction that you put on top of it. How delicious. You can't see it, but it looks so good. Safe to say I'm about to tear this whole meal up. I hardly ate anything all day. And I love the Olive Garden salads. I always take the bell peppers or the peppers out, like those. They smell good though. And the olives. I don't like olives. See, they're only in my drinks. And I have a garbage can. I don't know if I, got, if I showed you guys my new garbage can, but I just got a mini garbage can. It's not mini, actually. It's like a 30-gallon, but there's two different, like, it's, it's unique because I've never seen a garbage can that's partitioned like that. So, basically, you have the top part for your recyclables. Um, it's a pan. You can take this off and, like, carry it in your hand. And then on the bottom is just my regular garbage. It's a 30-gallon, so it's good for, like, one person, and you just press it, and it comes out the bottom. So top and bottom. Like how cool is that? I wanna keep all these onions in here. 
I mean, I guess, why not? I need a garbage can. I The one I really wanted was out of stock and it was just like, I ordered it from so many places and they canceled the order. So I feel like, whoa, never got it. So I was like, you know what? I can't wait anymore. I've been, garbage has just been on my ground as you guys have seen in like all the vlogs. I was like, we're over it. We're just gonna. I love Olive Garden salad. I dropped soy salad dressing on my hands. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I'm gonna sit on the ground and eat that. They literally gave me two. Like, y'all are not playing. Mm. The Olive Garden breadsticks are like crack. There's something in it. I don't know what it is, but it's not good for you. Mmm. I know I'm about to eat swell. You just have to dance. Sunday dinner. People were so dressed up going to Olive Garden. I just love to see it. With their families and everything. That's what life should be. We should just all be with our families all the time. Eating out and getting paid to do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go sit on my floor and watch some people. dinner it was absolutely divine i'm so happy i didn't get more than one or two breadsticks because i would have really sorry regretted that let me show you what i got really quick i got some intimate stuff they have this like thong thing but it's like a tummy control thong so if you're like me where a lot of your weight is stored at like the bottom of your stomach and i have love handles we're working on them, okay? And like the bottom of my stomach is where I see like a lot of my fat. Like the top of my stomach is pretty flat. The bottom gets a pooch. This is great because it's like the tummy control one and it's really constrictive. I got mine the size medium and it's a thong. We're all ladies here. It's okay. This one is from the American Kennel Club. This was what? Six bucks? Yeah. And it goes up to 9.8 feet. So I can like... Let him go and then stop him and bring him back. You know. So I got that. I got a couple things for him today, actually. I got him a snack chew. This is uh, antler, beef flavored. These are good. They don't expire till 2023. He'll be here definitely before that. Just go through stuff really quick. And this is the puppy one. And that's just great for his teething. I also got him something else for teething. What I really went there for today were some hangers. So I went to Burlington and I found a 30 pack of the Waverly Velvet hangers and they were 12 bucks for this whole pack. So I thought that was really, really good. Then I went to PetSmart because I'm just trying to get stuff ready for him. Um, I did get news that his mom is pregnant. So the mother of, this was one of the, the pets that I really wanted a dog from. I just think she's so beautiful and just, who they're actually breeding her with is so cute um, and the birth date her due date is my sister's birthday which is June 13th so it just was really weird and like trippy and then the date for them to come home is my birthday so he'd actually be here uh, if he if it, he exists uh, on my birthday which is nuts or like the week of my birthday crazy can I handle a Gemini dog? I don't know. The puppy starter kit again. One of the biggest things that my breeder said you really want to get for them is chews. The more things they have to chew on, the less stuff they're chewing on yours. Okay? But there was three levels to it. So this first one is very, very soft. So it's good for teething and active chewing. And then you graduate. So it says you graduate to this one, which is like a lot harder. It's like a milk bone almost. And then this one is like a healthy edible. It's like a natural bone. And that's good for them after six months. So he's gonna start with that one. I know I'm gonna be doing a puppy haul, so I didn't wanna like, you know, fill up my vlogs with puppy stuff. But it's good to have a tugger rope. Just so creates a little bit of friction, a little bit of, you know. So I got him a rope. This one was pretty cheap. And then these are the 
balls because he doesn't have any balls yet and dogs just love balls <laughs> like they, i don't know if it's the circumference or like the way they are but they just love i always see a dog with a ball in his mouth they just love them so added these to his toy collection because it is growing and watch this boy have so many toys and not play with any of them like i just people always say that about their dogs that they have crazy amount of toys and yet they still choose to play with like your sock or like your slipper never never please never enough but the living room is getting a little bit more airy like the bags are their bags but they're not i didn't take every single clothes i owned with me from my parents house i sold a lot i left a lot there and only took the stuff that i felt like i needed um so it looks airy yeah it's still a lot of boxes but once i cut stuff up we should be good. What I'm gonna do now is take these boxes downstairs and put them outside because it's getting dark out for the recycle because they're gonna come pick up tomorrow because it's Monday tomorrow. And then uh, I'm gonna wind down for the night and just like relax, have my cake, have some tea. And then I'm gonna read tonight. I've been really enjoying this book. Um, I don't know if I showed it to you guys in this vlog or the last vlog, I think it was the last one. But um, I've been really trying to restore my love of reading again and, and it's been great just being like living by myself and being at home. Like it's definitely the love of reading is coming back to me. Um, one of the books that are helping is this one by amazing Florence Given, Women Don't Owe You Pretty. And um, yeah, it's like a modern feminism book. Just love like, you know, the chapters are well written and now i'm on the um chapter on social media and like its effects and kind of a better way to like deal and cope with social media which is something i think we all can do if you guys don't know i'm not very active on my social media a lot of you guys have added me on instagram or i talk to a lot of my youtube friends through instagram and they know i don't really post a lot of stories i don't really post a lot of posts I want to be more active but I also feel like I always feel so much better when I'm not when I'm just kind of incognito and I'm just on YouTube and I'm not on every single platform I think that's why I didn't start TikTok like I just feel like being on everything and not having anything kind of for yourself with YouTube is a little bit more artistic and I am completely in control of what I want to show you and you are with those other apps too but I think sometimes when it's your main job you feel like an obligation to post and with youtube i literally post whenever i want and i love that um and it's definitely more like you guys to see in my life it's not just like a pretty girl in a picture you know what i mean it's like you know a lot about me this book has like reconfirmed every time i want to talk to you guys it's something he confirmed like my stance on that and just really makes me feel like i'm actually kind of killing it to be honest <laughs> because i'm not it's not i'm not so like emotionally um affected by social media because i I've, I've taken the space with it i would love to get away with youtube as well i think youtube can be quite toxic too especially if you do it and you watch it i think if you just watch it it's probably different when you're watching it and you are a youtuber as well it's like damn <laughs> like there's a lot of comparison i do a lot and i'm i i'm now getting over that because now in this new place like i've been watching shows and i've been you know getting back to like regular stuff like movies and things like that and just disconnecting from youtube and just doing youtube and that's it and i love that because i i'm not somebody that walks my watches my videos back like once i give birth to the video i'm over it you tag a specific part in my video and you comment on it i'll click on your timestamp and watch what you're saying and then comment but i never like watch my videos full out i just think it's like a little i hate hearing myself talk one like the sound of my own voice makes me want to just like run out of window i don't know i just don't do it and a lot of my creative friends have also said they don't do it. So I know it's not just me. I'm not crazy. This is literally what creators do. Like, we don't really watch that stuff back. I'm gonna shower and take this off and get ready for bed. That dinner was so good. Oh my god. Anytime I have really yummy food, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm well fed. And there's nothing better than going to sleep full. Okay? Going to sleep hungry. Real different feeling. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I'm working from home in such a great mindset i do have a 9 30 a.m meeting though why do we have to have meetings at 9 30 in the morning i just don't understand it's fine i'll probably be up by 8 30 let's be real <laughs> i don't want it to be too cold it's already too cold 